everybody. This is Dr. Copter. Today I'm going to be unboxing a pretty special piece for me. This is a 2011 Flesh Eating Zombie. This one in particular is pretty much mint condition. It includes even the tag. I've wanted Flesh Eating Zombie for quite some time now. I made a post on my uh, YouTube community tab quite a while ago asking if anybody had one and uh, I've been looking ever since and uh, Finally managed to net one for a good price that's really good shape. Got him for $200, which is, again, he's mint, so I don't mind having paid that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get just straight into the unboxing. He's got the box, it's in really good shape. Not, I, it's, it's a spirit box, it's smaller than you think it is though. Let's get his parts out of here first. Here's the latex hand. I, this, I feel like this is probably the same mold that they used for the new one as well. Because I had the new one. It's just, it, you know, it's not as painted as nicely on the new one. But I had the new one and I like, he was cool. I liked him, but I don't know. I just, once I started getting actually better stuff, I just really lost interest. Here's his actual hand sculpts. Very... SVI, very big, nicely painted, really good sculpts. His shoulder frame, like chest frame. He has like one like Charlie's kind of. This is these, the arm, arm. Here's his nog. It's in really nice shape, not scratched or anything. He's got a dent, but I'm pretty sure that's just stock, honestly. Uh, yeah, really nice sculpt. My God, this is such a cool looking sculpt. I always loved the like look of the ripped like face. You can see even the jaw tendons in here. That's so cool, dude. He's awesome. A lot of purple. And a lot of purple wash on him. It's pretty interesting as a color choice, but I think it looks pretty good. Here's his chest. His chest itself, actually, or his torso comes in two pieces, actually. It comes in the top piece and then the bottom piece where the actual hips are, which is an interesting choice. I've never seen that on another uh, SVI like this. Yeah, see? Don't know what that zip tie is doing on there. And then those get uh, bolted together. Those pants, they're not normally connected to the hip loop already, but this one just, I left it on when I got there. And I took it apart. Use the shoes. I don't know if, these were probably reused on something else but I don't know what. They're pretty nice looking, very gold, which is an interesting color choice, but I like it. They've got full bottoms too, which I guess isn't that crazy really, but they are fairly thin though. Here's his other arm, which has a spring in it, which I didn't know, though I think this might mainly be for like the pur purpose of posability. But still, it's got a spring. I didn't know that he had a springy arm. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that, but whatever, it's fine. It doesn't really hold much weight. Uh, leg poles, he doesn't have snap locks, obviously, but he has the little like notches that kind of do a decent enough job at keeping him sort of together. His shirt. base, which is very <laughs> characteristically janky. Oh god, old SVI. Oh. Oh. I love old SVI. I just love SVI so much, but holy shit. And then the 6 volt, for some reason, 800 milliamp adapter. Yeah, 0.8, 0.8 amps. 
And then uh, in here, there's some piece of cardboard. The shell that goes around his adapter port, which is which just came off for some reason. I'll probably put that back on and hot glue it or something. His instructions, which I will probably not need. I swear to God, if I do need them, I will be ashamed. But that's pretty cool, and they're in pretty decent shape. Oh, he came with screws. Here's that bolt that goes onto his hips. Pretty large. And, most impressively, the tag. He still has the tag. Which is awesome. I'm totally going to put the tag on him when he uh, goes into my display room. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get into assembly now. Okay, base first. Obviously. And I'll slip his shoes on. Is there a right and a left for his? I don't think so. I think his shoes are Pretty much just symmetrical. There we go. His pants. And again, I'm just leaving the hip loop on. I don't care. Uh, looks like this is the front. It's the more smudged side. I don't think he ever came with leg padding or anything. Which is again very characteristic of the old SBI. Now, he is missing, like, one of those little peg things that you use to put the hip loop through the actual, like, loop on the hips. Um, but I'm just gonna put a zip tie on that. They literally had a string just holding it up before, and that it'll work just fine for the time being. Maybe I'll weld it uh, back together eventually, but for the time being, at the very least, I don't care. Next, I'm gonna put on the actual... Uh, well, I don't know if... Oh, let me see something. So, that's. I swear to God, if I do need them, I will be ashamed. Who goes on the back? So, this goes on the back. So, it goes this way. Cool. Now, for his torso. He's got the classic SVI coin speaker in a cone so that it sounds louder. And this doesn't really need to be over tightened that much. Okay, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna turn them around just to show what I'm doing here. This is part of the setup. You need to put this onto there. Normally it would come with a corner pin, but they, they lost it, I guess. Uh, so I'm just gonna use a wire tie. Now the now the body frame and the shoulder frame. There we go. Perfect. Next is him shirt. I'm gonna need to fix his base. It is extremely uneven. Should be able to just bend that shit. That should be fine. Either that or I'll find another baseline around. But I'd rather not do that. Okay, awesome. Next is his arms. This is the one that holds 
the food. Again, no foam on anything here. Just, you know, good old SVI metal. Is that in? That's in. Okay. Okay, other arm. Okay. Very ill-fitting, but that's okay. Next are his hands. All right, and then his head. Actually, first I'm gonna put, I'm gonna give him this. I think it usually would go stump up. Though it doesn't really matter. his head which will not be in front now his head I've also got to connect the wire for his head luckily I can see straight through his fucking shirt how convenient is that there you are and that's the other unless he's backwards somehow there's no fucking what, no. His speaker's facing forward. I guess it wouldn't hurt to check the instructions. Might would be a shame. Yeah, he's facing the right way. There, and then just some final adjustments in his neck. Velcroed. Wish this shirt covered him a little better. I don't know, maybe I'll give him some Velcro or something. This doesn't really, doesn't really hide anything. <laughs> if I pull it down so that this goes over, it's just, I don't know. Whatever, SVI moment. I'll give him Velcro or something. But uh, yeah, he's uh, fully set up. There's our guy. I'm gonna get him plugged in now. Let's see, will his plug reach over here? Nail. I doubt his sensor is very good. He's definitely one. Dude, you fucking. Okay. He's definitely one I'm gonna have to put on a uh, timer for Halloween if I actually want him to activate it all. He's like surprisingly a lot louder than I expected. It doesn't sound good, but it sounds loud. I also really like that he says the word brains. I love when zombies say the word brains. I know the new one does. I didn't know if he did. Because the new one has a remake soundtrack. Aw, 
Awesome. I guess I'll record a little demo while I'm in here. completely forgot to record an outro for this video. Bye!